What's up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm and I hear a lot of people talking about what fruit trees they want to put in their food forest or in their orchard. I want to talk to you guys about a beneficial tree you guys might want to think about putting in your food forest or orchard. <laughs> tree I'm standing underneath right now is the mimosa tree also known as the Persian silk tree also back in the day it was known as the happy tree because of its medicinal properties um, it helps with depression and grief if you're trying to get over depression and grief just a little disclaimer here I am NOT a doctor I am NOT an expert herbalist so please do research on the mimosa tree before you ingest it don't do it just because Hop Farm said it's going to make you happy. Okay? Cool. Let's get a little bit closer on this tree. and I want to show you some identification, how to identify it. The leaves are pretty easy to identify. It is a legumous tree, which means it is a nitrogen fixing tree. So the leaves got these small blade-like leaves here. The branch coming off is smooth with these little spots on it. And if you get closer on the older branches, oh, knocking you around. If you get closer on the older branches, they have the same spots also. They're just a little more calloused. Very noticeable on the mimosa tree is the flowers. The beautiful silk-like flowers, pinkish, purplish color. The smell coming off this tree is amazing, guys. It, it whiffs perfume in the air and it just gives me a smile every time I smell it. It's, it's one of those, you sniff, and you're like, ah, oh, it smells so good. And you get a little grin going across your face. Oh, man, it's a perfumey, very beautiful smell. I've even seen people make fishing lures out of the mimosa blooms. Like I said, it's a, a legumus tree, so it fixes nitrogen into the ground from its root system. Uh, pulls nitrogen out of the air and deposits extra nitrogen into the ground. Then the mycelium or you know the mushroom internet that's down there is going to come down and take from that nitrogen and give it to plants that need it. So the, the medicinal properties on this like I said can help with depression, grief. How you would use it is you could use the flowers, steep the flowers in hot water. You can also use the bark or the roots. Of course, the roots is more potent than the bark. And like I said, make sure you do your own research before you ingest this plant. Just don't go out there and scrape off some bark and throw it in your mouth or put it in your tea, because I said you could. So the happy tree, the mimosa tree. I do have some that I've planted in my little food forest right there, right on the other side of that big pin oak tree. And we're going to go down there and check out where I planted them and talk a little bit more about them. All right, so down here at the food forest, standing under a lot smaller mimosa tree. And I planted this mimosa tree from digging it up off my property. These mimosa trees are considered an invasive plant. They spread really easily. So that's some, something you need to watch for. If you don't want them everywhere, when they go to seed, either pick up the seeds or kill the little seedlings as they come in as you do your chop and drop pull them up chop them but I've got uh, three or four don't remember exactly I think three in here um, in the food forest and let me show you what they're doing they are shading out see this little peach tree over here it has now overgrown started to overgrow this mimosa tree but it has been shading it out for two years now. This is the first year that that peach tree has overgrown that mimosa tree. See how this one's shading this apple tree here. There's another one, big one back here. These are not old enough to go to flower yet. As far as chop and drop, you can chop and drop these trees. Um, a tip on chop and drop for you would be when to chop and drop. You have to know when to chop and drop. I don't want to come through here right now in the summer and chop and drop this mimosa tree 
and leave my food forest exposed to d the direct sunlight. So you want to think about when doing chopping jobs, the switches and climates um, at fall, right after summer, when everything's starting to cool down, I can chop and drop this mimosa tree. I can take a lot of it, say right here, and let this one be the new leader coming out. And under the ground, the root system's pretty much the same. So the root system, like I said before, has those, those nitrogen nodules on it. When you chop above and it dies, it's gonna die down below as well. So now those nitrogen nodules are gonna sit there in the soil waiting for mycelium to come by and take it or another tree's root to come by and start taking nitrogen that the mimosa produced for it. I also have right beside that mimosa, and if you can see it, that's another beneficial, an autumn olive. Maybe that'll be my next beneficial plant video. Y'all stay tuned for that, the autumn olive. So the mimosas are doing their job in here. Producing nitrogen, shading. It will be a chop and drop. They grow very fast. So when I chop this down in the fall, the new growth will come up very fast in the spring and early summer and cover everything and shade it back out. Obviously, I need to come in here and do some chop and drop on the comfrey. It's growing everywhere. Well, can y'all see these? Let me see if I can zoom in for you. So let's go in here. Look, we've got peaches all over this tree right here. Peaches. As you can tell, these mimosa trees can get really tall, 40, 50 feet tall. They can be your overstory in your food forest if you'd like. And they can also be a slight understory and they're perfect on the edges. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Also consider con subscribing, hit that little button down there in the corner, and bang the bell. When you bang the bell, it lets you know every time I put a video out. So if you guys want to know the next time I put another beneficial tree video out, like the autumn olive, go ahead and hit that bell. It'll let you know when I put it out. Later, y'all.